Good evening, my name is Modi Apparatus and welcome to Beholder. This is the beta version of the game given out by the developers and this is a surveillance game where you are a uh, landlord for an apartment complex and you are required to uh, spy on your neighbors and, and tenants uh, at the behest of the government who's put you in this position. Uh, you also have to manage your family and manage your time and manage all the relationships, make sure you're not too suspicious and, uh, you know, try to get everyone over your side while still supporting the government and keeping your own head. Anyways, let's get into a game here. I played a little bit of this just to get acquainted with the controls and how it all works, and I'm ready to jump into a brand new game. Let's go. Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Krushvitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. You and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank, Ministry of Allocation. All right, so as you can see, the art style of this, it's very interesting. And uh, that opening cinematic, oh man. Um, let's, uh, let's talk to our boss here. Let's get through the tutorial just a little bit, just to show you kind of what goes on in the game here. Um, this is the boss, click on him to start the dialogue. Exclamation point means that you have an NPC, has a quest for you. You must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new duty position. What's going on here? We're driving out the pest from this house. Do not pay any attention to this. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go with it. As, as you wish. Oh, that's, uh, Princess Bride, that means I love you. <laughs> as you wish. Your predecessor hasn't coped with an easiest task. Okay, a little weird syntax there, maybe? If a person occupying an important position does not cope with an easiest task, there's only one conclusion. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. Since now, every activity of penance is your business. And the word everything means... The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow every step of theirs and write down any suspicious activity. Of course, if you want to gain the reputation of a good public servant, if you're going to be a perfect beho beholder, write down hobbies, interests, even talks. How can I do this? You need to observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start with the beginning. Have you ever managed a house before, Carl? Or do you need my help? Uh, let's use the tutorial quick just so I can explain things as we go here. I'll need your help. I'll help you to deal with this. Be all eyes to sp be all eyes to surroundings. Here is your duty journal. It's always located on the right. Scroll the tabs and have a look at it. So we have uh, duty tasks. We have profiles. This gives us a little idea of who is in each of the houses here. Uh, we have government directives. Um, this is directive 6037 as of September 1st, 1984. 
prohibited to cover up for criminals, so you have to re report any criminal behavior is the rule of that one here. And uh, nothing else there and nothing else there. So this is kind of where you'll get some messages. This is this is people you've reported on in the past. And this is stuff that's uh, violations that you can find and what you should report them for for arrest or just fines. Um, so that's that. Uh, Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's come back to the surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in the house to make your work easier. According to the documents, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office. It's on the right, from the living room. It's so we can zoom out, not quite far enough yet. Uh, here is the desk, I believe. Yes. And we are going to grab two cameras out of there and install them. In our own living area, to be honest here. Ah, okay, so let's go back to the boss man here. See what he's got to say for us. Hurry up over there, Carl. Great, you found the cameras. Install them in the common canteen. Follow me. Set up a surveillance camera. This is very important. All right, fine. Uh, and the dialogue. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna protest anything. I don't want to do this. Is not an option. You either do this or you do this or not. I mean, you just you just don't have this job anymore, basically. And if you don't have the job anymore, you're probably killed, as we saw with the guy in the opening cinematic there. He is going off to prison. Uh, so we just got to click the little lights here, install cameras in them. Um, I'm curious if tenants will find these ever. Now, I don't quite like that he's just kind of standing on the ground, shuffling around. It's the same animation as the as the uh, searching through things. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense that he would be doing, you know, with this without a ladder or something like that some type of way. He'd have to be super tall to reach the ceiling there, obviously. He needs something to stand on, though. All right, let's talk to the boss man. I see you're doing fine. This is your first reward. Spend your money on required things in the shop. You'll never receive surveillance cameras for reputation points. Reputation points show your reputation. You receive them for completing duty tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade people around you. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with in the ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your working place using your private line and ask any questions. By the way, Carl, I strongly discourage you ignoring the phone calls. Remember that you and me serve our great people, and completion of directives and orders of the ministry are our bread, water, and air. Now, the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor could not cope. Hope you will do better. How can I do this? First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence, police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, the great state can be very grateful to those who do their work in a proper way. The ministry can turn its blind eye to forgery and blackmail if this helps you achieve your goal. I'll do my best. I like your eagerness. Be in no haste to call our department. You can always get an advice of your wise tutor. At the last, at the last, the key I gave you opens every door in the house. Make sure the tenants leave the apartment before entering it. I'm gonna get lose the accent now. It's, 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 it's wearing on me. Hopefully this guy's not gonna show up too often anyways. Many citizens are still confident that their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Set to work. The dialogue in this is kind of like chancy a little bit. I don't know. I'm not quite sure if uh, it's, it's, it's just like translation issues or what. But uh, let's talk to our daughter here. So we have a son, we have a daughter. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Uh, ask her about the house. Do you like our new home? I like it very much. Yes, he's big. I like him very much. What? Our new home? Oh, I like him very much. He's big. And you? I like him too. We have three rooms. We used to have one. Moreover, we have a TV set. Will they take our TV set, Dad? No, honey. Nobody will take it. Don't say that. You don't know for sure. Patrick says he, a cartoon is shown sometimes. And now she's eating soup. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go talk to... Uh, oh, we have to go over here and answer the phone quick. All right, let's go take to a phone call here before we start meeting the rest of the family here. And also in the meantime here, we did get a couple more uh, announcements here. Directive 6038, uh, people are, are ordered to destroy all apples, uh, red and green, man. And uh, also still the, the whole reporting to people thing. All right, so let's get the, let's get this phone call answered here or call made call made. To the government. Ministry of Order, your call accepted. Hello, Carl. You've learned of your main duties. Ready to receive a task? Ready for a task. 
set surveillance in the apart in the apartment number two. Jacob Menefshek lives there. You can always buy required cameras in the state shop. Be careful and enter tenants' apartments when they're not home. Uh, okay. Um, there we go. So this is the whole apartment here. Little uh, interesting, right? We got uh, let's like eight rooms total plus the basement where we live. Um, we have this whole area to ourselves. This is a common room, so nobody has kitchens or anything like that. Everyone uses the kitchen down here, it looks like. So that's why we installed cameras down there. Any suspicious activity going on in the kitchen, we shall know about. Um, we should also say that this is a guy that'll sell some black market kind of stuff here. Uh, Carl, don't go all the way over there. I don't want you to do that. Uh, also, we can buy some cameras from the state shop. There's also the flea market here. We can buy furniture, uh, anything else we might need. This looks like a soldering iron for metal components or oh, a, a tool set for um, repairing furniture. And this is for repairing stuff. So we still have to do regular landlord stuff on top of everything else. Let's buy a camera here. We have 75 left to spend. We're not going to spend too much of that here. Before we head up, let's meet the rest of the family here. This is Patrick over here. And we'll go talk to him. Oh, I can't go in there and talk to him. Okay. Let's talk to her. So that is the first day. We have 46 hours to complete our task. It won't take that long. Uh, let's talk about work. Are you happy about your new job, Carl? I haven't dealt with this yet, honey. I was scared when the handcuffed person passed by me. Who, who did that, Carl? He's the ex-house manager. He didn't cope with his duties. What a nightmare. Carl, can anyone do the same to you? Don't worry, honey. I'll be a good manager. Sure. Sure. Let's say that now. Uh, let's talk to... Oh, we can't talk to him still. He's over in the bedroom. We can't actually fit in there, I guess. Uh, she's got an issue. Uh, will you play with me? Not now. We already talked to her. Okay, so maybe not. Uh, he's got like flags. He's getting some interesting ideas going on over there. Uh, f okay, let's, let's let's stick to our task here. Uh, let's get upstairs here and uh, deal with uh, our neighborhood duties here. Also, there's the crime and punishment task. Uh, search apartment two, install a camera in apartment two, and then gather data on Jacob. Uh, okay, so let's first of all, let's first of all make sure no one else is around. Um, let's knock on the door, see if he's home. Hello? Hello, Jacob. We're here. Let's take a peek inside. Oh! Uh, son just saw me snooping on this guy. Hey, son. How's it going? Yes, father. Uh, let's ask about work. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is so nasty. Do you like eating food and study at the university? Wear new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never take... I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hope so. I hate mines, father. It better not. I'd, it'd be better. It better die. It better die than work as a slave. Hey, gosh, you gotta go to English class. Uh, the mines. Have you not changed your mind about being to be a miner? I hate mines, father. I'd, it better die than live as a slave. Uh, and then that's what the news. How's study at the university? I haven't missed any classes. To be honest, I haven't believed you could get this place in the university for me. Be a diligent student, son. The, pla the, the this place costs us too much. I won't let you know, father. And, uh, this place needs industry. I swear I'd escape if I were sent to the mine. I hate mines, father. He really hates mines. This kid's ending up in a mine for sure, right? Like, totally. The way he just has a passion for mines and hates them, he's definitely ending up in a mine. Uh, I told you a hundred times that work in mines is hard, but well respected. Yes, 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 okay. We're wasting time. Um, sorry, son. I uh, didn't mean to call you a waste of time, but you are wasting my time. Um, okay, so back to peering in. No one home. Let's, uh, pop in there real quick. Take a look-see around there. Uh, first of all, ooh, bus is coming. That could be dropping him off, actually. We gotta be very, very careful here. First of all, let's get the camera installed. Uh, we need to search the apartment also, so let's take a look in the desk here. Uh, he's got a broken bottle. Uh, I could turn that into a dangerous weapon. All right, not illegal to have bottles, I'm sure. Broken bottles happen all the time. Why is he keeping up with a broken bottle? I don't know. Um, we're gathering data on him. I don't think having a broken bottle is enough data, to be honest. Let's keep looking around here. Is there a directive about that? Uh, singing in front of Ministry of Order is prohibited. Okay. Good to know. Um, hopefully this is not him. Let's hurry up here quick. Uh, what does he look like? Let's pause here quick and see. Apartment 2. He looks like he's wearing a skin mask kind of I guess everybody kind of looks like that uh, let's let, keep working here nothing in the TV stand let's check the phone okay so that is not him uh, definitely not these these guys 
Let's just make sure. Oh, here we go. Ah, playing gambling games. That'll land you some hot water here. Uh, so call the ministry, report this task completion. Call the ministry. Okay, we gotta get out of here though. Um, hey, um, no, no, by me. Hey, ma'am. Um, is that him? No, it's a guy sweeping. I don't think that's him. I think it's, um, let's pause here quick again. Um, I don't know who that might be. Maybe him? I didn't really see the face. Maybe just not even a tenant. He's just gonna be a janitor. Oh, here he is right here. That's the man. Uh, should we go meet him? Should we go meet this guy? Let's go talk to him. Hi, how's it going? Let's get everything we can on this guy. What do you want? Uh, let's get a win. Who are you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new house manager. Did I win the competition? Who cares about a damn manager? I don't care about you or your and your deals. Nice guy. Uh, what are you smelling around here? I have nothing to have nothing to do. It's my duty looking after your house. Watch yourself as if as if nothing bad happens to your family. Whoa, that's a mildly un unveiled threat. Uh, there. Holy cow. Okay, I have no qualms about reporting this gentleman. Let's uh, go call them up and see what they say. Call the ministry. Let them know our task is complete and that we are. Done with Mr. Jacob. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded. Awarded. Complex recipes for a chef and 50 reputation points. Oh, complex recipes. Ooh. According to our sources, Jacob Manischek violates state directives. Spy upon him, use surveillance cameras. When a tenant does something banned within camera range, the action icon changes colors. Click the icon to add evidence to the dossier. Attach gathered evidence to your report. Uh, finish conversation. Okay, so we need to watch this apartment here. Now that we have the camera there, we can kind of see what he's doing on there without being right outside the door. Um, also, there's the phone call here. New government directed receive. Uh, drug production is prohibited. And also singing still is prohibited. So be careful not to whistle a tune when the ministry is around. Uh, let's see, our reward for this is going to be a thousand bucks. Okay, that'll that'll keep us in uh, some uh, goods and services for a while. What, Carl? What, Carl? What, Carl? Learn what happened. Uh, who lives in apartment two, Carl? Uh, Jacob Manischek, a rather unpleasant person. Yeah, I would say so. Unpleasant is not the word. I left him alone in the kitchen. I le left with him alone in the kitchen, and he told me so many things. He tried to paw her, pig. It can't be true. He has such a face. One would expect everything from him. And what if he is at Martha? She always plays near the porch. It's so nasty to even think about this. What a dirtbag. I'll deal with this. Uh, yeah, so he's, 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 you know, Martha, Martha is our daughter. It's, 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 yeah, he's probably not a safe, safe presence to have around. Let's go take a look and see. There's a letter up here. Let's go see what that all that's about. Um, looks like the time constraint for our crime and punishment thing is over with here. Uh, Charlie Smith, son of the Miners Trade Union leader, was found unconscious. Criminals pumped him with drugs, and he's currently being treated and rehabilitated in the hospital. Ministry order advises a citizen to be alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. Alright. Good to know. Um, and gentlemen there are selling stuff. Uh, let's see what the girl says. Did she, like, run over to talk about this incident? Or is it just kind of like a hypothetical? Like, he could do something. He's concerned about the phone. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Uh, learn what happened. What happened, sweetheart? That mister pushed me. What? I was walking along the stairs, and he... Don't cry, dear. What mister? The nasty mister from apartment number two. Oh, this guy's just getting the deck stacked against him, isn't he? He said that kids are worse than pests. Alright, let's bust this guy. Let's bust him. With our, with our righteous anger here. Yes, father? Um... Learn what happened. What, what you you have something on him too? It's okay. Uh, tell me what happened. That filthy Manischek swore at me. He decided I was standing near his door, and I was fastening shoelaces near the flower. He said he would blow my head off if he ever see me again near the door. Don't worry, I'll bring him to justice. He won't touch you. Um. All right. End the dialogue. All right, so that, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on him for sure. Should we go spy on his, his uh, door here? Let's go take a look in here maybe. Make sure we can catch him doing anything illicit. 
Oh, he's making a phone call. Oh, he's going by the door. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Run. Run. Oh, we just passed through the light. We can see everything. We can see it all. Let's meet some of our tenants here, actually. Um, hello. A quaint. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm your house manager. My name is Klaus Schimmer. You will manage the house that used to belong to my family. One manager had already turned it into junk. Hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Ask about the house. Did the house belong to you? That's right, it used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, and it was turned into a residence hall. That's not so terrible. Have you seen the living blocks of D-Level? You're right, the situation is not worse one. At least we're free. You can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. Uh, what? It's expensive to play chess, I guess, if you gamble on it. Oh, hey, 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 look what we got here. Collected materials. Hey, we got a, the dirt on this guy. Uh, making drugs. Making drugs on camera. Oh, he's dead to rights. Uh, let's get downstairs and make a report. So, the boss is taking the kid to school here, possibly. Oh, there's another. Did we meet him? No, that was the guy we just met. Oh, we didn't meet him yet. We'll, we'll get up there eventually. Uh, let's get over here and do this then. So, we need to report Jacob. Uh, to start writing a report, click on the desk and choose the icon, make report. Uh, there we go, that one. And we're going to draw up a report on Mr. Jacob Manischek. Lives at apartment two. And he violated the directive, well, who knows? Um, directive 6040, not at all uncomplicated. I guess this list will just keep growing and growing as more directives get published from September 2, 1984. And then we're going to drag the information from his file. Uh, nope, not you. Oops, not that. Uh, let's see, part two. Ah, uh, yes, we have the... All right, send in the important stuff. This is not one of the directives, right? Is gambling uh, one of the directives too? Nope, it's not. So we don't have to worry about that. But drugs is definitely prohibited. So uh, let's send the report. And that will do it. Ooh, can we blackmail somebody? What's that all about? Blackmail to someone. Oh, you directly vi violated a directive from blank. If you don't want the police to learn about this, then leave. Plank in the flower pot. Oh my gosh, we can like really extort some people. Oh, we're missing something here. Let's go back. Uh oh, so it's going down over here. Oh, sorry, Jacob. Crime doesn't pay. All right, so we're not all bad. I mean, hey, it seems like we got the bad guy in this situation. Should we go like stand outside his house and gloat? So he knows it was us. That's probably a bad idea, actually. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna stand here. Oh, hey, getting getting arrested, huh? Oh, so that sucks, man. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear about that. Oh, boy. What happened? Ah, oh, sheesh. Man, can't make drugs in your own house anymore these days. What's the world coming to? Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Uh, let's, did we talk to this guy yet? What do you want from the honored archive worker? Ah, quaint. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new house manager. Mark Rannick is an honored archive worker. I have to live in this disgusting house. I hope you'll put everything in order here. I'll do my best. Try hard. You'll need more than me. You'll need this more than me. Uh, ask about the wife. Rosa works in the canteen. Always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cakes so much that it's become her occupation. Well, she didn't smell like cabbage. Wish she didn't smell like cabbage. Uh, I don't know why we clicked away like that. Is this her? Hello. Uh, quaint. Hello, my name's Carl. I'm the new house manager. Pleased to meet you, Maria Shimmer. Oh, this is the uh, wife in the apartment one here. Have you bought, brought your family here? We moved in just recently, and it would be nice to meet. And it would be nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Yeah, it would be. Goodbye. And you are. Hello, good afternoon. Quaint. Uh, hello, miss. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the house manager. Rose Rannick, dear. Nice to meet you. You must have already met my naughty husband. We also have a son who's just like you. He lives in the capital. Ask what son. He became a boss, our dear boy. I haven't seen him for so long. So long ago. Ask about the husband. Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. A lot of papers. Not so many people. Not many people. 
He spends his vacation in the company of a fishing rod. Oh, interesting. That's more information collected. Oh, we'll just document that. Thank you. In the dialogue. Uh, repair apartment two. Uh, let's open up business here. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, repair that. Get up and running for the next tenants. And then we're going to choose either Jose Pompanendo or Aloysius Schback. Looks like, uh... This guy's got a weird hat on, and this guy's got a bow tie on. I think we'll go hat, bow tie, hat, bow tie. Ah, let's go with hat. Um, and then call the ministry. Hey, a uh, son's got an issue here too, apparently. And another letter here. Okay, well, I think we'll pause it there and pick this up right where we left off next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this first taste of Beholder, and I'll see you next time for more. Have a good night. <laughs>